A wrench dry and retract is the most important thing as a dental assistant. So when you're on that side, you have to make sure that you're out of the doctor's way, but you have to capture everything that's in the mouth. So we'll start on the upper right and then we'll go around the entire mouth. So you know what, where to position uh, your suction, your mirror, if you're gonna retract. First things first is uh, it's one cotton roll for the maxillary and you wanna put that on the buckle. What I normally do, so if we're working on just the upper right quad, let's say we're working on tooth number two, which is the farthest tooth in the mouth. So what I do is I kind of make these a little bit longer. <coughs> so I wiggle them out and make it long. So see the difference between the length? Okay, so I make them a little bit longer and then I'm gonna have my patient open, but I'm gonna have her close just a little bit because I wanna be able to put out her cheek as much as possible. And I'm gonna aim for this cotton roll to be on tooth number two. So it looks like that when you go in. So my cotton roll extends past the tuberosity and then tooth number two is right there. And now I extend a little bit further anterior. Okay, so now that cheek is out of my way. So I always wanna make sure you retract the cheek to put in your cotton roll and you have to retract it completely. So if we're gonna work on tooth number two and I got my hand piece, since I'm gonna be the doctor, just go ahead and assist it and grab your stuff. Which hand do you hold the HV in? Your right. And your air water syringe is in your left. The reason why you want this in your left is because it's littler and it won't be in my way. So as if I'm the doctor and I position myself here, I'm also gonna have a mirror because I'm gonna do indirect vision. Okay. So the way you wanna do, don't forget, I always introduce the HVE to, for this to be your back. Okay, so that's your back. You can go in, you can retract the tongue down like that if you need to with the back side of the HVE. If not, you're gonna go rest up on that tooth of number two, but don't rest on the palate. And you're gonna be on the lingual side. Am I sitting the point, the point of your HPE is gonna be at the distal of all quads. Okay, so if you wanna look in, and that's what it looks like here. Or if I drop down, it's gonna be right here, depending where the pool is gonna be. Okay. Grab it. All right, now I'm gonna go in. So if I'm gonna do indirect vision, if I'm the doctor, I'm gonna be right on top of your suction and you gotta make sure you're not down that throat. So you either need to be on tooth number two again, mm -hmm. or you're gonna drop down to tooth number 30. Okay. Okay? Because I'm gonna be right here. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I'm gonna do my, I'm not using any burr or anything, okay? <laughs> So I'll do my hand piece. There we go. Now we got some water going on. And nope, you don't move. You stay right there. Okay, I'm gonna do my number two. Okay, you gotta stay on number two or number 30. Right there. Don't go to the cheek. Because you're the one moving it to the cheek. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna use my hand piece, and I, look, we got air. I got water on my mirror. What do you do? There we go. You gotta make sure I can see the whole time. Every time you move, you're gonna move me. So, let's practice on moving. You just drop a little, and up. I feel like claustrophobic, guys. I'm sorry, I can't, like, breathe. <laughs> okay. So if I'm here, come on, go in. Because I gotta position myself. Okay. So if you need to move, you're just gonna move here. Don't move. I don't feel like I have a good grip on it. Okay, so, so you're holding like that? Yeah. So there's three ways to hold it. If you can't hold it straight like this, you need to grab it like this. Okay. Or you need to grab it with your thumb up. Okay. So, okay, so like this is not right. So you can, but your hand keeps moving. Yeah. So I'm going to get mad as a doctor because every time you move, you're moving me. So I can't work so until you stay still. 
Okay, so like that, I probably feel a little bit better. Mm -hmm. And is this supposed to be behind me like no. that? No. Okay, in front? Because you need the link. Okay. Okay. That means you're in. So this maybe, we'll turn that like this, and we'll focus the back like that. So then, put that in, put my water, put my air. Make sure I can see, because you're not blowing on my mirror. So there's so many things you can suction, but you gotta pay attention to my mirror, especially out where on the maxillary. So, on my see. mirror, on my mirror. Okay, I'm just trying to see what's coming out. All right, so we're on that breath. Okay, so if I stop, you stay, and get all the water, both sides, and then come out. That's kind of hard, isn't it? Mm -hmm. You have to stay still. All right, let me take that out. So we'll go to tooth number six. Thanks for not drilling. <laughs> no, I'm not going to I'm just kidding. Again, I'm going to... I need the length. The reason why I stretch these out is I want the length and plus I want it to sit up. So I'm going to aim for tooth number six. So we just did two, and that's the position where you want to be for two. So six makes an anterior tooth, okay? So again, I'm going to retract my, my vestibule, and then I'm going to fold my lip over. One cotton roll for the maxillary. All right, so again, if I need indirect division, I'm working from the lingual, you have to be in the back of the throat. So you're going to be at number two anyway. Okay. So, that up right here? Number two. Okay, okay so I'm going to be here. Indirect vision. Again, working on the lingual, she's number six. Alright. Now, let's say, if I'm here also, you want to use this cotton roll. Sometimes your doctor will make you sit here because all the aerosols coming to our face. Mm -hmm. So if you have to work on the facial, if your doctor wants you to work on the facial, you're going to use that cotton roll and that's where you're going to rest, not on that gum tissue. You have to rest on that cotton roll. Come on. Don't move because we're going to do this. On the, yep. Okay, then we can support this. And we're going to put this in the back of the throat because you're going to catch all the water from the facial. So go ahead and open patient. And we're just going to hang it there. And I'm going to do indirect vision again. Because now the air is not being caught, but you're too far up. Check when I get on her gingiva because you're only resting there. Okay. If she hits your gingiva, raise your hand. Okay? Yeah. Okay, you gotta come up because I can, I have no room. This is my room. Okay. You gotta go around me. Okay, can I get my chair up more? Mm -hmm. You're supposed to be taller than me. Okay, get as close as you can. And you gotta leave my leave me have room. Okay. So get in. Where do you go? Facial. So you're too high up. You gotta go towards the tooth. This is too high up. This is too high up. Okay, so can you turn this? There you go. Okay. Like no one's gonna tell you that. Okay, now you're in my way. You see that? Mm -hmm. You have to lift your hand up. Okay, you might be too relaxed, so make yourself comfortable. Mm -hmm. too this is an awkward position. Alright. So this is the lingual. So even if I was on any... Close. Even if I was on any lingual on the anterior, that's where you want to be. Because the aerosol is going to hit both of our faces. Okay. So you want to catch that. Let's say I'm working from the facial, pointing down now. You having a hard time over there? Yeah, I just sort of feel like I have a whole lot of room right here, and I'm like, I'm you're never here. gonna have a, any room. You gotta figure it out. So you should be more over here, 
and then towards the head. Okay. Okay? This is going to always be a tight fit for you. Okay, so if I work, now I'm working out the facial going down. So you're going to be on the lingual, you're getting your good bevel. You got it. You are the one in control of this. You okay. have to point this towards the tooth. Okay? Either you're going to be here to catch what I need, or you're going to be here to catch everything. So those are the only two positions where you can be. Okay, now you're in my way. So see how you get close to my mirror? Mm -hmm. And I can feel you, so you got to stay out of the way. So Doc is working on the facial for K9 to K9. I move, you don't. Okay. okay? Alright, let's do the upper left because that's a little bit harder for the assistant. <laughs> so the upper left is a little bit harder for the assistant. So as you can see, when we're over here, I'm in control of the lip. I have to get the lip out of the way. If we go to the upper left, now that's you. So if I cut a lip, that's going to be your fault, not mine. Okay, so you have to make sure that that's out of the way. Again, we're going to just, this one sucks. Can't really bend it. All right, and again, I'm going to retract as much as I can. And then I'm going to put it in. Don't put it in without retracting because that's when you get, when the cotton roll looks like it's showing. Okay. Okay, you want to tuck it in the pocket or the vestibule. And you're tucking it back here too? Yeah. Right. So, so that can move because she's going to block that out of the way. So here's where your positioning is going to be on this side. So again, we're going to use the back to retract. So when you're over here, you're going to be over here. So you should be on, sorry, go up and out. There you go. You're going to be on the cotton roll. Do you see how I'm on the cotton roll? Mm -hmm. And you see my bevel is pointed towards the tooth. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's where you're going to be. And the only thing that you need to do, so if you don't have the extra guy hanging in the mouth, the back of the throat's going to pull up. So all you're going to do is slide down and then slide in position. Slide down and slide in position. You don't move anywhere else. Now I have this in control of the lip right there okay so take it again we're working on maxillary so we also have indirect vision so go in position because I'm gonna go right on top of you or around you and you're see your bevels on my occlusal you need to stay on the buckle okay so so stay on the occlusal, okay, now I got indirect vision, so you're now in control of my mirror, so I can see. And it's punch the air. Alright, or if I go here, whatever I'm doing. There we go, that's good positioning. So look, now you're halfway out of the throat. Look at that, look at all that water down there. There you go. You have to make sure you're watching that, and you're halfway out of the mouth again. Get next to that tooth. Not on the gun tissue because you could hurt her. See that? Okay. All right. That position is a little tough. Okay. So that's where you need to be over there. So when you guys practice your HPE, that's how you want to. Do. <laughs> you're, you're going too close to the mouth instead of just dropping this down. One more time. Okay. Sorry, I saw you had water. <laughs> but you didn't get any water, you got the cheek. <laughs> so you got it when you go in, you're gonna go here. Time. You're not gonna go towards it. So you're capturing things, okay? okay. Alright, so that's the upper left. You are in control of the left. Now if we move to the lower. Uh, in the lower you get two cotton rolls for the lingual, one cotton roll for the buckle. I'm in control of the tongue, you're in control of the cheek. Okay, the job gets tough for you on this side. So the job's tough here, and the job's tough here for the assistant. And it's just like a cross, because the tongue is the strongest muscle in the mouth. Okay, so the tongue is hard to control, and we'll get there um, on that side. But, okay, two for the lingual, one for the buckle, and mandibles, the only time it changes. And I'm gonna retract my tongue. Drop one in. I'm not going to press down because that's soft tissue. Plus, my patient isn't numb, so she's going to fill everything I need. 
Plus, I'm going to retract with my finger, drop that in the vestibule, and now we're out of the way. Okay, so I got control of the tongue, you get control of the lip, and this time, where does the bevel go? I mentioned it earlier. Where does that bevel go? To the distal. So if you go that way, you're going to suction a lip. Okay, let's see you go in. Let's see how you're going to position yourself. Here, this is your retractor. Okay, careful of that point is going to hit the gingiva. So if you stab it or move, you're going to you're going to cut her. Okay. Okay. Even though they're numb, she's not numb. Okay, so I got control of the tongue, my cotton rolls, and then we're going to work again. And you got to stay out of the acoustical. So whatever I'm doing, you got to control that cotton roll too. Okay, I rest on it. Okay, so whether I'm on the lingual or I move to the buckle. Go ahead, get by, stay at the distal, got two. Right there. There you go. Now you're getting everything. Okay, let's see anterior. So that's not hard over there. That's pretty easy because you only got the lip, okay? Let's do anterior again. So I'll take these out. They can count them unless you want I just hope I don't have this thing on there. But I they, feel like I could definitely get some body weight sitting like this. Oh, you are. <laughs> that you're in control of how you sit. Nobody's going to wait for you to be comfortable. You got to remember that, okay? Mm -hmm. So if we're doing anterior, just relax a little bit. All right. <laughs> Tuck that right away. There's one going to be on that garden open. You put one on the lingual. <clears throat> this time I'm going to hold this down like this because if we're working on the lingual or the facial of anterior. So again, if I'm working like this, you're going to be on the facial. So there's your cotton roll. Your cotton roll is your best friend. Don't forget that's going to be your cushion. So you're going to be turned. Okay. And then so if I'm working on the lingual, we're going to be like that. Go ahead and get the back of the throat. Get the back of the throat. Get the back of the throat. There you go. Okay. And he's not going to remember. He's not going to wait for you. So if he tells you to get somewhere, it don't take forever. Okay, let's switch. Now I want to go from the facial and you need to be on the lingual. You're pointed towards, you're pointed towards the cotton roll. Mm -hmm. So how do you need to hold your HPE? Mm -hmm. okay. okay, poke the tooth, not the gingiva. You were down here and hitting that gingiva. You're either on the tooth or on the cotton roll. Okay. So if I'm here, I gotta be like this and going down. You might want to curve it just a little bit. There you go. Like that. Okay, whether I'm working anywhere anteriorly. Same thing for the lingual. And then we'll switch again. Are you okay, Tammy? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then I can get anywhere. You have this guy. There you go. Okay, get the back of the throat. Get the back of the throat. Okay. Oh. okay. Get that tongue out of the way. Get it all out with one quick jab. Okay. All right. Now, lower right. This is the hard position for the assistant because you got the, the tongue. So, Doc will again retract the tongue. Put some cotton rolls there. You're in control of that, so you better be on top of that. Alright, so that's where you want to be. 
or like this and make sure that you're only hitting the tooth because that's where that's where you're going to rest that either the tooth or the cotton rolls again and they're going to be here so look at that so i don't have no room for the lingual there you go so push those down why are those moving there you go so you're in control of all that there see if i go anywhere on this quad if i go to the lingual or I go to the buckle. All right, we got a good patient because if that was a kid, that muscle is going to be so hard to move. All right, take all these out. Thank you, Tammy, for being such a wonderful patient. <laughs> all right, I've got. Go ahead and do that. All right, when you okay. guys, let's talk about when you rinse. Because a lot of you guys get confused when you rinse. When you guys rinse, any time that the doc has a hand piece, you need to rinse the prep, not the tooth. Okay, because I see some of you guys, if I'm working on an MO or DO, you guys spray everything but what I need to get sprayed. So if I'm working on the upper right, you're going to be here and do it really fast. There's not, it's quick, and that's it. When you spray air, you need to dry. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be water, spray, dash of air. And it's really quick. It doesn't take forever, so it's gonna be like one, two, dry. Okay. So she can see through there. You're gonna do a foot, too bad this doesn't work as well. So we'll do that, we'll go over there tomorrow maybe. When you rinse, do the, the mouth rinse, the full mouth rinse. You want to stay at the occlusal and then stay on the lingual of the anterior. If you go to the facial and spray the facial, you're going to see it pop back at you because it's a flat surface. Okay, so do the occlusal, lingual, there. If you need to get into that vestibule, you're going to spray here, halfway, and you're going to spray here, halfway. You're going to okay. separate the quad. Don't get over excited and go like this because then you and your patient are going to get wet. Same thing for the mandible. If you got to rinse the mandible, you're going to just go around to the occlusal or the lingual. Don't spray the tongue because the tongue, again, is a flat surface and it'll spray right back at you. So anytime you want to spray, you're just going to stick to the tooth or the gingiva. Spray towards the gingiva. That's where you're a good place to eat. Okay? Okay. Any questions regarding any of this? Rinse, dry, and retract? Mm -hmm. How many cotton rolls for the maxillary? One. Where do you go? On the buckle. The buckle. How many cotton rolls for the lingual? Two. Or for the mandible? Well, two. Well, the lingual? Two. Three. three, and then two yeah, lingual, one buckle. One buckle. Oh, yeah. I said it wrong. All right, so don't forget that. And then your cotton rolls are your best friend. So your doctor yeah. will never put a hand piece in the mirror without putting this in, okay? So he will always remember that, even if you forget it. So in checkoffs, we don't want you to forget, right? But at the same time, yes, we get in a hurry and we forget. Your doctor will never use uh, or do any treatment without cotton rolls. So you have the luck of that happening. The cotton roll is your best friend for the HVE as well because that's your resting point. Don't forget that the back side of this helps you retract, okay? Don't point in like this because you're gonna capture anything that's in the suction. So you wanna use that always at an angle retracting whatever tissue you need. Okay. The bevel is always, or the point of this HP is always at the distal. Can't be anywhere else. Okay? okay? Except for when you're in the anterior. It'll just point. Any other questions? No? Mm -hmm. All right, that was rinse, dry, and retract.